banks of the Elwan River, right at a bend in the river where it is calm and where there are likely, and according to reports, are lots of spawning beds right in this stretch of the river where the gravel is small enough for them to, to dig out their pits, their reds, and lay the eggs and be instantly fertilized by the males and spawn hundreds of new Chinook salmon. And that continues all the way up through the rapids up to the deeper calm hole where we saw a couple of dozen, at least 25, maybe 30 or more big salmon. We're talking two and a half, three, maybe three and a half feet, big fat salmon that were headed upstream, staging in that calm, cool pool, ready for whatever conditions, uh, whatever they can smell from, from where they spawned before, or maybe they're pioneers finding the best place but they're up above these rapids, so they are heading upstream. They're colonizing and spawning further and further and further upstream by the air. As they populate the lower areas, they look for new spawning beds, and they're, they're growing big. And the ones that they spawn will be the progeny of those who got the furthest and were the biggest and that means they will already have that genetic blueprint for growing large. And so it'll increase the size year by year of those Chinook. Uh, they're coming back. The Elwha is regrowing big Chinook salmon. What we need, what the orcas need to grow big and fat themselves. And to be able to carry their young and nurture their young into adults that can continue the population. We're seeing it right here.